Hey Slimeheads, coming at you with a real unscripted video where I'm just shooting off the cuff. Want to hear some funny jokes? I was working on a video this week, and this happens sometimes when you turn out as much garbage as I do, where I realized the script was neither funny nor informative. So I thought, okay, you know what? Maybe just don't make it. Maybe don't waste everybody's time with it. Instead of making it and having a bad video that I then have to put on my YouTube channel, I thought instead what I'll do is I won't make it, and then I'll have nothing. But rather than just give you nothing this week, I thought I'd shit out one of these channel update videos. So firstly, for the past year or so, I've been filming Thought Slime videos in my bedroom, and it has been taxing. Each time that I wanted to set stuff up for a shot, I would have to take my lights and set them up and set my tripod and get all of the everything just so. And then when I was done, I would have to take it down so that I wouldn't be walking around my lights when I was trying to go to bed, for example. Now, this month, I am moving to a different place than where I live now. And there, I'm going to have much more space and I'm going to have a dedicated room for filming videos, which means that I'm going to be able to set stuff up and just leave it up and just be able to do things much more quickly. So that's good news. You, I, I hope you will notice a, a, an increase in quality at that time. But that means that this month, while I'm doing that, while I'm taking care of that, the schedule might suffer a little bit. Uh, you might notice I didn't put up a Scaredy Cats video this week, and this is as close as you're getting to a Thought Slime video this week. I'm also working on a project that uh, <laughs> has kind of ballooned in scope a little bit, um, where I, I started researching it and then it just, I went down a real rabbit hole One, and I want to do a much more comprehensive video than I thought I would be doing. So who knows when that's going to be ready. Uh, so there's that. Now, another thing is that I have been editing all of my videos and doing all of my work and stuff like that in an office that I share with my wife. My wife takes business meetings pretty much all day, every day. So I can't be in there saying like, fart, 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 capitalism, etc. Like I usually do. So that, that has limited uh, much of what I'm able to do, especially in terms of live streaming. Uh, so that's the reason that I've like live streamed late at night uh, when a lot of you can't make it. So going forward, I'm going to be a bit looser with the stream schedule, I hope. Uh, I'm gonna be able to do it during the day when a, when a human might be available to watch, uh, so that it won't be like three o'clock in the morning for a lot of people in, in Europe. Uh, so that'll be cool. And I'll be able to do it more often. So I won't have to put as much pressure on myself to do like a, a cool stream. I can do like video games some days and like reacting to shitty content other times, you know, it, it'll be a bit loosier, a little bit goosier, if I'm being honest. Uh, another thing that has come up a lot lately. Something that people have been saying to me for a shamefully long time, and uh, I have just sat on it because it was one of those problems that was too big for me to look at. And uh, recently I was like, what, am, what, what the fuck are you doing? Just, just fix it. Just fix this problem. A lot of you have pointed out to me that uh, my videos don't often have adequate captioning for hard of hearing people. And you are correct and it is a problem I am going to fix. Now, going forward, I will do my best to, within a reasonable period of time, get my videos captioned and to, you know, post on Twitter when that captioning is complete. Uh, I would love to have them fully captioned upon release. The way that I schedule my content means that often I am like, I don't have it uploaded until like, sometimes a couple hours before it goes out. So that, that would be very difficult, nigh impossible. Maybe going forward, I'll be able to like adjust my schedule, get a bit more organized, but as it stands, this is a compromise I'm just logistically going to have to make. In terms of going back for old content and, and captioning that, that is gonna take longer. And uh, this might be difficult for many of you to believe, I certainly wouldn't believe it if I heard me say it, but right now, uh, for me, time and money are at an extreme premium. And I am, um, it's just, right now is an extremely bad time 
for me to commit to that. <laughs> what I'm going to try to do is with important videos from the past, ones that I think are, are likely to be important, I will prioritize those. I, I don't know when I can say that like the entire back catalog will be fully captioned, if ever. That is, that is going to be an enormous, extremely expensive undertaking, but uh, I'm, I'm going to try. Um, thank you for, for the patience you've shown, which is frankly more patience than I have deserved in this matter. Obviously, I want everybody to be able to watch and enjoy my videos. I don't want them to be, I don't want to have barriers for people with disabilities. So obviously this is something that has to change. I see that. Some other fun stuff. I will, I will hopefully be returning the Mega Slime Entertainment Zone. Uh, if you may recall, that was my ill-fated gaming channel. So here's the thing. When I, when I started that uh, channel, it was because I thought, okay, I'm moving to this new apartment where I'm gonna have a big space where I can sit down, play video games, record that uh, in the daytime while my wife is at work. And then one thing that happened, I don't know if you heard of this, but there was a big uh, apocalyptic pandemic that meant that uh, no, now we, we, we share an office and uh, I basically have no time to do that ever. Uh, so that project kind of fizzled out. But now I'm moving to a place where I have plenty of space to myself. Uh, my wife and I will have separate offices where we can both do our work, her real work and my whatever this is. And uh, I will be able to hopefully start uploading content to that channel again. Uh, it, it, I realize it's going to be kind of a difficult sell uh, now that I got you all hyped for it once and then abandoned it. But it's I did, trust me, I, 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 if there's one thing I like to do, it's put out too much content, too much content for one person to put out. Something that a lot of people ask also is, hey, Dot Slime, when are you going to put out little shirts and, and merchandises for me to buy with my money? And I could do that. I could do that tomorrow. I've had people offer to do that for me. I've had companies approach me to say like, hey, will you do this? Here's the thing is I don't, I don't think it's a, it would be a good look for me to at once be like, hey, capitalism, uh-uh, don't do that, don't do that shit, and then turn around and uh, directly profit from the exploitation of other people's work. And I, and I know, and I know, people are gonna be like, hey, hey man, you, you gotta make a living. You got, you, 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 oh, you criticize capitalism, but you live within it, and yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. And, and nothing against anybody that, that does that, that's their choice, whatever. Thing is, is uh, I don't really need to do that. <laughs> Like I'm, I'm doing fine without it. Like, I don't think that, that 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 would be necessarily true in my case. So I'm kind of holding back on, on doing that until I can, until either one of these two conditions is fulfilled. I find a place that is ethical from which to, to produce t-shirts with and sell them. And, and, uh, and also doesn't mean that I have to like have a basement full of t-shirts that I have to ship myself because I just don't have time or, or two. Uh, I get desperate. <laughs> if, if, if something go, goes down in my life where I become desperate, I might do it in the future. But as of now, I just, I can't reconcile it. And I hope you're understanding about that. I know it's kind of disappointing. I know a lot of you would probably like to have like, uh, you know, a little Thought Slime shirts or Bobby Duke shirts or whatever. But uh, I, I, I just, I, I can't in good conscience do that. I will I will do a lot of things that are counter to my values. That, that is one where I'm like, ah, it's a bit too far, isn't it? It's a bit too far. For now, I'm probably not gonna do that. Unless, unless things change in the future, who knows? Uh, if, if you run such an ethical company or know of one, uh, get at me. But uh, yeah, it's, it's looking like a no from me on that front. Something else that's happened to me lately, and I, don't think I can be blamed for this, is that I've received a lot of drawings of me with a big butt. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, reach out to the artists that have sent me pictures of me with a big butt and uh, ask if they're comfortable with me displaying them to the public uh, with commentary, uh, credited of course, and, and we'll see about that because a lot of people have expressed interest in seeing the drawings of me with a, a big dumper, so. Look forward to that. And lastly, this is the obligatory thank you that I feel that such videos should end on. It should not go without saying that uh, 
This lavish, elaborate lifestyle that I lead is only possible thanks to your support. I wouldn't be able to eat beluga caviar that I wash down with Dom Perignon every single night without your help. I wouldn't be able to afford the electroshock collars that I use to keep my servants from revolting if it wasn't for your generous support. This has been a, a very fun year for me in, in content. Uh, things have changed a lot. I feel like Thought Slime 3.0 uh, is, is, is an overwhelming success. Uh, I, I struggled a lot with the decision of, of moving away from the type of content I was doing that I did not find fulfilling, and I still, I still kind of struggle with it, to be honest. I still kind of struggle with feeling that my videos should be important or impactful uh, instead of just the silly nonsense that I would prefer to make, instead of the silly garbage that I like to do. I'm very proud of the community uh, around this channel. It, it's a very supportive community of people that that uh, are, are positive and uh, helpful, which is, uh, you know, always a great place to be. I, I like to think that that reflects positively on me and, uh, and what I've put in. And I like also that uh, I have a community that holds me accountable and doesn't kind of treat me as some sort of can do no wrong person because I, f I fuck up all the time. I fuck up every day. I fucked up twice in this video. Can you find them? Can you find the hidden fuck ups? Go ahead. So yeah, uh, please be patient with me in the immediate future as the shit's gonna come up. I, I know <laughs> I know that I have a bit of a reputation as being kind of a content machine, uh, putting out a, a lot of content ev all of the time and uh, I obviously I want to get back to that. Just know that this month is going to be a little up in the air, you know? All right. Keep it slimy, slimeheads.